everybody. Um, my name is Ruben. Welcome to my rig review number two. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the KGC Killer Guitar Components uh, Brass Tremolo Block for Fender Stratocaster, American Series Stratocaster. Um, some background really quick. I have another review on my channel for the KGC Compensated br Brass Tremolo Claw. And uh, I did that review. And when I did that review, I had the uh, FU Tone Tremolo block installed in the guitar. So KGC um, liked the review. Rick, amazing person, liked the review. Wanted to get my feedback on the KGC block. So he sent me one over, and that's what I'm going to review today. Um, I wanted to do re a review like I did last time, where I did a before and after, where I would play, you know, I play the guitar in that in its current state at that time, then switch the part out and do the after. I actually had recorded all that today. And when um, I recorded it, I changed the block out from the FU Tone to the KDC. And when I went to go back to the computer to start the second half of the demo, I realized that only the guitar parts got recorded, <laughs> not my vocals. So all that was, you know, gone so what i'm doing now basically is is i'm not going to do the before because i can't do the before i'm, I'm going to do the the after i guess if you want to call it and just give my feedback on um the kgc block before i do that though I, i'm going to give um some information or some background on my experience with the fu tone block um that fu tone block i went through two blocks i bought one and um, Adam, great guy, sent it out, had it for about six months, then it stripped out on me. The bar just, you know, spun and I couldn't get it out. So I reached out to Adam, told him what happened, and the guy, um, amazing, stands behind his product 100%, sent me out another block, free of charge, free shipping, all that. I got it. And that one um, lasted for about two months, um, actually at a gig. Uh, I think I was doing Beat It. Uh, Michael Jackson tune and after that song is when the bar just um, did its thing and it just spun around so I was a little frustrated um, but dur during that time when that happened the KGC block was you know on its way to me for the review and I have it here today and I, I installed the block and um, I'm repeating myself because I said this in the other review with on the uh, brass compensated claw that, um, sorry, I'm checking the time here on the, on the camera, that um, I, I really didn't think that this brass block was going to make that much of a difference because I figured brass is brass is brass is brass. Um, a few tones brass is made out of solid bell brass. Um, on their website, I think KGC um, says they make theirs out of their musical brass alloy. And um, there's a difference, a, a huge difference. Um, when I screwed the block onto the plate, I realized immediately it was heavier, like like a lot heavier than the, than the FU Tone block. So that was the first thing I noticed. And then I went ahead and I put the... Uh, strings back on set it all up as you know i like to have my guitar um set floating but uh, parallel to the body not at any angle it's just basically parallel so um, um that was one of the things i i noticed another thing i did notice and i'm going to put some pictures up is that the the screws for the block are go a lot deeper which is pretty awesome. Also, the holes where the um, the strings go through, the, the ball ends of the strings are closer to the bottom of the block, so you get more string going through the block and vibrating and resonating all the way up through across the neck, across the bone. So it's, that, for me, is cool. I think that's how they used to do it back in the day. Uh, another thing I noticed that the the holes for the strings and the tremolo block um, are pretty spot on. I'm going to put a picture up stacking the FU tone block with the KGC block 
with the standard um, pot metal, whatever, tapered tremolo block that comes with the guitar. And you'll see that the holes, everything from KGC on the Fender standard stock one, it's perfect. The uh, FE tone is off just a little bit. And you'll see also a shot from the top with the FU tone block in that the it's not perfectly aligned. And I'm not here to knock FU tone. I, I'm not at all. I'm just giving an, an honest opinion. It looks like I'm coming out of focus there. I don't know why. Let me see. Um, anyway, like I said, I'm not here to knock FU tone. They're a great company. They helped me out. Adam that stood behind his products. I mean, another one. I'm just giving you a new and honest opinion of what I see and what I hear. And what I hear, you know, there there is a difference, a, a, a considerable difference. Um, the FU tone block, you know, brought out the highs, um, brought out the lows. Um, but I think, you know, the highs were a little bit shrill and the lows were kind of loose. And um, I never knew that a, a brass block could do that. But this brass block, the highs are there, the lows are there, but the lows are like tight, uh, for lack of a better word. And also, um, the guitar just sounds more woody, like like this natural, um, just what the organics of, of the guitar is just coming out more. And then there's a mid range as well that that's right in the pocket when you hear it with distortion in a bit. Um, it's just this grind, and I'm just running the, a tube screamer, and it just sounds really good. It really, really blew me away um, at how much different this block sounds compared to the uh, the previous block. So I'm going to go ahead and, and give you uh, some signal chain information. It's a 2001 American Series Stratocaster, rosewood board, ash body. I have a DiMarzio Area 58, Area 58, Area 61. I have a, a blender pot that I installed here at the bottom. I have a no-load tone pot here, and just a volume. Uh, Nine-gauge Diodario strings. I forgot what they are. They have like a red X on their pack. Um, two springs on the back, and you can see my compensated claw there, and that really beautiful-looking KGC brass block. So I'm going to go ahead and play some clean stuff, and then I'll switch over to dirty. Bridge pickup. Oh yeah, sorry, and I'm running into uh, George Al's 10-foot instrument cable into my Mac Pro uh, Line 6 gearbox with a Vox model, and then for dirty I have a Tube Screamer model. And no delay, no reverb, I might add some later after I do the, the sound samples just for fun. But here we go. And it, it's nice because that bite and the highs are there. It's present, but it's not really, it's not shrilly and, and, and ice picky as the, as the other one was. I mean, I was really blown away at the other one that, you know, it, it really amplified those frequencies, but it didn't amplify them musically, and this one does. It sounds like a Strat, and it doesn't sound like a Strat on ice. <laughs> um, it's okay, so here's the uh, second position, the some quack, as they call it.
and here's the um, middle position. And I'm going direct, no speakers, um, it's just direct into the recording, so I'm not using air or playing against the speaker to get any sustain or feedback, it's just straight guitar. Another thing I like too with, with the block um, is they have this really great idea of um, they infused or injected in the block part of the thread and there's like some nylon circle thing and I think I have a picture of it um, so you don't have to use the little that tiny fender spring you know drop in the hole to keep your bar from moving um, you don't have to do that you just screw it in it catches onto the nylon and it stays there and it's great and the bar actually sits nice and low and I like the angle of the bar it's perfect for what I do. Um, so yeah, it, it, they put a lot of thought into to what they were doing. And smart guys over there. So here's position number four, so middle and neck pickup. Oop. It's just, it sounds great. And when you play through it, it, it just makes you want to play. You know, I'm not much of a clean player, but when you have a, a good tone and, and the, a guitar like kind of working with you and responding with to what you're playing so quickly, just the notes, it's just so present there. It's just, it's just great. You just want to play. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do some dirty stuff, and this is where you'll hear, like, that mid-range craziness. As I stated, I don't know if I stated it, but I'm using a box model, and then for dirty, a tube screamer. My guitar never sounded like this, using that model. Never, never had that. Just that, that smooth mid-range grind. It just, it's very nice. And I know it's just a model. It's not a real amp, but it never had this this tone. And, um, 
um, this block too, just it's the sensitivity, the, the block in conjunction with the claw. Um, look, I'll show you, you can just hit, you'll see the bar. Sorry, I know that's kind of geeky, but... It's just really cool. Okay, so let's do... Um Okay, so the middle position. This guitar never sounded like this. So, um, if you're in the market for an upgrade uh, for your trim block, uh, and, uh, again, this was a new venture for me to, you know, for years and years I thought, you know, whatever my guitar comes with is fine. Um, but I, you know, I took the chance and I upgraded to a brass block and I was happy with the results and then um, I got exposed to this KGC block by KGC reaching out to me on my Facebook page Ruben Reza Music Facebook page and um, they sent this over and the tone just keeps getting better and better and I honestly don't know how much better it's gonna get but um, if you want to upgrade your stuff on your guitar and you know um, check the KGC stuff out first and I think you'll be you'll be really happy. Uh -huh. 